Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Millennium Dot. Oh wait. This is the wrong time period, isn't it? Alright, sorry about that totally unscripted mistake. Today we're playing Millennium Dawn A to Z as Austria. You know, I honestly wasn't expecting Austria to have much of any factories. So the fact that it does is honestly a, a welcome surprise to say the least. We have six sieves, but we're only using two. What the hell was our tax? 50% 50, 50 pop. What is wrong with these OS places, man? And you've got a lame generic focus tree. God damn it. All right, first thing I'm gonna do, I, I gotta cut down these fucking tax rates, dude. I need, I need to use more of my civilian factories than I currently am, man. We have eight. We shouldn't be using two of them. We should be using like five of them. Oh, hey, thank you. Maybe people were willing to invest a lot in me. I don't know. I mean, for now they will, but I don't know if they're gonna like me in the future. Uh, if you saw my little untold, my little scripted mistake. Yeah, I might be trying to form something like that today. Bro, I'm starting to wonder when the last time Putin fucking won was. Like, Jesus Christ. Hey, look, it's not the communist guy, at least. Oh, thank you. Wow. This game is being very kind to me today. I don't know why. Oh, wait, we were in stagnation before? Oh, jeez. Damn. Maybe that's why our taxes are 50 fucking percent. Jesus Christ. I mean, I thought Austria was a pretty technologically advanced country. I mean, it's in the heart of Europe, but like, we don't, we don't know what planes are. We don't know what basic artillery systems are. We hardly know what a tank is. I mean, at least we know what a Jurassic Park Jeep is. And we know guns up to 1985, so. Bro, what are these divisions? Why the hell are you gonna include all this motorization if you're just gonna put one lousy infantry to slow it all down? How, how about, how are the Prancer Grenadier Brigades? Oh my god. <laughs> what? What the fuck are they so bad for? Okay, dude, this is gonna have to change in the future. We can afford it for now, but once I start actually expanding, becoming a decent power in the world, uh, the old people are just being funded too much. That's the only way I can put it for you guys. They need to be defunded. There we go. We said so much political power I could have used on other things in my country to make it great. But I, I, I had to put it all in corporate tax rate uh, cuts so we could get like what? An actual decent civ count? <laughs> Good grief. Bro, holy fuck. 2,000 days? For a... Th th <coughs> Come on, Bush or whoever the hell it is. Who's in charge? You've got the American economy. You could build factories way faster than that. I'm, I'm probably not even gonna be democratic by then, dude. So you might as well just cancel it while you still can. <laughs> okay, at least France knows how to build a civilian industry in a timely manner. How does it take you 1,800 days? It, don't ta it takes France. Of all people. France. It only takes 300 days for them. Al Gore, you're being humiliated by fucking France. Whoa, okay, that's a big one. That's the first time I've seen one of the UK's, like, little vote dates give away land. Ireland actually got something decent to happen for th for them. Is that gonna help you in the long run? Probably not. Alrighty, you wanna hear a really fun story, guys? One day, Sir, uh, Victor Klima was sitting at the Parliament building out here in... Not Vienna for some reason, but he moved his problem building to Salzburg, right by the mountainside, because he thought the scenery was beautiful. That might have been a big mistake, because in that particular day, an avalanche raced down the mountainside, whacked his problem building right in the face, holy... And they told him, we're done with your democracy bullshit. And just like that, a special election was called. Okay, so yeah, I didn't really think through the fact that... <laughs> Not aligned parties can't go to new imperialism. I thought they could, but they couldn't. So we're stuck here waiting for world tension to go above 15%. This might be a long time, unfortunately. I mean, this is honestly getting a bit ridiculous, man. There's like civil wars everywhere. You got it here. You got it here. Got it here. And you had it there. At least, at least Italy was quick with it. At least Italy could, could shut it down within a couple weeks. I mean, the other guys are like stuck for months here. I mean, I guess they are role-playing historically in a way, with the fact that no one knows how the hell to win. Hey, let's go. Some more tension. Woo! Yeah, baby. That's what I've been waiting for. Yeah, there's this OP decision I saw. I didn't notice it before, but there's like a good chance you can find some materials in your own land. There's 26% chance of special metal being found. Holy hell. That's actually a little wickedly overpowered. I'm not gonna lie. Whoa, another Russian war against Korea. Is it, is it just me or is this war happen every game? Did you seriously just do that? How, how stupid can you? 
You're fighting for everything but the ports right now, man. What the heck? Come on. Declare war on Iraq or something, man. I, I need the world tension to go up. 3% more. All right, let's see what resource we find in the random mountainside. It's like those stupid mobile game ads where the guy like falls off a cliff and then just finds like a whole pile of gold. I get I get ads like that all, all the time on YouTube. Anyway, let's see what we got here. Rub, we got rubber. <laughs> Fuck me. I'm a little surprised about that. Dude, I I need this number to go up so I can actually get involved somewhere. Somehow this is only 9% wool tension. Let, th let that sink in. This is 9% wool tension. You know, I will literally scream. If this civilian industry is built before wool tension hit 15%, I will literally scream to the top of my lungs. Syria's dying. Saddam Hussein's still alive. China's about to disintegrate. Like, if this was my world, I bet people would be screaming. Heart attacks everywhere. Anxiety. Oh my god. Right on cue. <laughs> Right on cue. Thank you, USA. Dude, this guy looks like George Bush, except... What does this remind me of? Hold on. No, no, his face is just really round. Like, he kind of reminds me of, like, an elf in a Disney movie. One of those... Not not elf, actually. One of those little dwarves in Snow White. Imagine George Bush is a fucking little dwarf. Oh, God. Now, nah, for, forget the grumpy one. <laughs> He's gonna look completely normal compared to the one that wants to kill Iraqians. <laughs> Yeah, well, that was very quick. I don't know why you didn't do it like two years ago. You had to make me like sit and suffer for an extra hour or so. I don't, I don't know how long it's been. Alrighty. I forgot to record the notification, but Hungary's time to die has come. Now, will this succeed or will it? No, it, it should succeed. I'm not going to build up tension for this war. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, they uh kind of got demolished there. Now, why would you go down there? Go up. And then you encircle, like, their entire fucking army of two divisions. I knew it would be easy, but I didn't know it would be this easy. I don't know if I want to kill your soldiers anymore. You know, I don't, I don't know if I want to. I think we're just gonna take the cities and run. I'll let your men live. They don't deserve to be killed that horribly. All right, I'm not really too sure what happened, but I just noticed somehow low tension is at 89%. Oh, 56% is because they killed China. Okay, that would make it. That's actually not a bad border. So I don't know why it's 56%. So yeah, I guess now we can we technically declare wars whenever the hell we want. But I think we're safe to go after Slovakia for the time being. I waited like a good four or five months after the war with Austria. I, I just don't see people pissed off enough to really care about Slovakia. All right, I honestly lost track of time. How did that finish so fast? I thought it would take, I thought it took like 300 days. I, I don't remember 300 days passing, but okay. And die. Uh, it goes their first capital of the second, oh my God, they had their tank on the second city. Jesus Christ. Guess we have to use our own tanks against it. And there you go. <laughs> Our own tanks were quite devastating. What the hell was that? I saw like cartoon smoke. What the fuck? Is, am, I, am I a delusion or did I see cartoon smoke there? Yeah, I, I don't know, man. It looked like Bugs Bunny smoke or something. That was weird. But uh, yeah, I guess I guess that happened. They're dead now. Now we'll get ready for the Czech Republic. Although I'm going to wait a couple months before justifying for obvious reasons. All right, I guess all those, those two countries I killed had their own air forces, but they just decided not to use them. They had no planes, but when they capitulate, they give me all these planes. Thank you, I guess. I, I don't know. Okay, I, I know this is off topic, but I noticed like here where the, you see the province, like you see what type of... Ter terrain it is they actually millennium dawn went out of their way to put pictures for each of the cities or at least the, the majority of them like all the major cities have their own pictures that is pretty fucking neat man wish i recognized that sooner I give props to the man who went out of his way to suffer that much just to find pictures for all these cities now i'm gonna have like adhd and just start staring at all these instead of focusing on the game now <laughs> Thanks, Millennium Dawn. Looks like China got dragged into- Oh, God. Oh, God, no. George Bush found a way in. Oh, no. Oh, that might be the end of Russia. George Bush is- Jesus, Bush. Not even Iraq got smithered that hard. Damn. I mean, he just looked at the way he pummeled Iraq. It's a- not good enough. And just went into this whole out D-Day invasion across, like, every front in Russia. I, they're dead. You'll have to keep drop kicking them. Oh, yeah. Clearly, I'm not the only one capitalizing off of this world war because a lot of people are going to war 
and I mean like minor nations, not majors. Like a lot of little countries are starting to fight each other. You got, you got uh, the Bosnians, you got now Venezuela and Guyana. I've never seen that war before. So, I mean, that's a new one. You got Rwanda and Rally for Congo's Democracy. There's just some weird shit. Oh my God. You know what? Just because of your funky hairstyle, you're hired. Go change some people's minds. I'm sure with that ridiculous bun on the top of your head, they'll, they'll believe you. Alrighty. Give me those factories. Okay, they're not they're not really defending this front probably they're not defending this front line at all. Be probably because they, they just don't have the divisions to. But I'll take the easy win. I think this might be over before it even started. Yeah, I okay. That wasn't really much of a competition. None of these countries have really been any competition right now. They're all just dying. And it's a little embarrassing. Like, give me a challenge, man. But yeah, we look pretty big now. I mean, I could do this in a third of the time in Vanilla Hoi 4, but we still did it, even if it took eight years. Oh no, Bunhead is captured. What are we gonna do? That was my idol, my my savior to this campaign. Dude, what the fuck became of China? They're led by the same dude. Not, not even the same portrait, the same exact dude. And the original China still alive. <laughs> what? I mean, like, I get China has warlords and shit, like warlord periods every once in a while, like the Guanxi League and Shangzi. That they're at least not named China, China, Republic of China, Republic of China, Socialist Republic of China. They have their own names, dude. Holy shit, Estonia! Oh my God, Estonia with the comeback, expanding towards Moscow at record speed. Alrighty, I feel like my hair went gray because. For once, there's actually, like, no stupid wars happening. But we are able to declare war on, uh, the Croatians. And hopefully we win. Right? Okay, good. We're winning there. We're winning there. A little worried about the river line, though. Though I, I think we're fine. And circle that real quick. Wow, you didn't even try to move. Okay, then. You know what the saddest thing is? I think, out of all the countries I've had to fight so far, this has been the most resistance that I've had to face. None of the other countries have fought this hard. And by this hard, I mean, like, actually cover their front lines entirely. But nonetheless, our divisions are far superior to anything that a dumb Balkan nation would have. Therefore, I win, you lose, GG. We're about to get in a one uh, division-wide funnel here. This might suck. If we're lucky, we can break through before they reorg. I can already tell this is... Oh, wait. Ooh, there we go. That's what we're talking about. Go, go, go. GG. Did that? Okay. I was about to say, if I have to naval invade over here, I swear to God. Oh my God, you... <laughs> what is with you people and getting captured 24-7, man? All right, I, I'm pretty sure it's safe to justify Yugoslavia. I mean, they're, they're communist. I, I doubt anybody really likes them that much. Uh, if you guarantee them, any of you guys, I hope you kill yourselves. Well, um, I think Russia might be toast this time. And maybe for the last time, I don't know. Three to... Three to fourteen? Three, three to fourteen. As Russia... Against the world. Look at all the ways you're being invaded. And you, you just decided to delete all your divisions. Like, uh, maybe if we lay down our arms, they might not be too motivated to invade us. Do you not remember World War One, Russia? Yeah, I, I haven't taken history for a good couple years now. But if my memory serves right, you tried this in World War One. Did it work? Fuck no. And uh, what do you know? It ain't working again. Oh, come on. How do the same people keep getting fucking captured? It's the same people over and over and over. Just hide. Use cover. Breathe air. Oh, look at that. Yugoslavia doesn't seem very well supplied for guys. I, I wonder if Yugoslavia is a poor ass shithole of a country. I, I totally don't know the answer to that question. Oh, hey, look at that. War gold just in time. Claire War. Die. Now we just set up the front line and we invade. And we should. Oh, God. Yeah, we're winning. All right. <laughs> oh, this might not even be close. You have in the last stand already. That is probably a... I swear to God, if one more of you gets cap, You know, this is just... This seems like a very nice opportunity. 
Yeah. I, I don't know if I would be very happy about that one, Yugoslavia. You might have fucked up big time there. I, I knew, I thought, I figured since Yugoslavia is at least a somewhat militaristic state, that they would at least put up somewhat of a fight, but this is just embarrassing. They're being, like, literally neutered alive. Yeah, we're just, we're just gonna run right through them. Bosnia is already dead. Yugoslavia ain't gonna take much longer. I, I can tell you that right now. We, we haven't lost, like, a single battle yet, have we? Oh my god. Can they win a battle? Oh, they can. Oh my god. How did you lose that? My division had no org- Like, it's like every guy there had a headache and a concussion. As well as broken ribs and you still lost. I mean, I guess, I guess my only explanation is your leader looks like a farmer from Nebraska. He might be an imposter. That's why he doesn't understand the Yugoslavian war tactics. And there they go. That was ridiculously easy. Holy shit. All right, I devised them up the most properly I could at least. I wish I could change Yugoslavia's name to Serbia because that's honestly what it is at right now. But fortunately, I can't. Oh, wait, it says, <gasps> they changed your name to Serbia. My wishes, they came true. Thank God. Yugoslavia was an ugly name. All right, I might, I might try a uh, justifying against Romania now. I don't know if it's, okay, it's too early. Thankfully, I made an auto save, not an auto save. I made a save before that. We won't have to worry about it. So that didn't work very well, but I have noticed is that Romania here is a bit fascist. And if I can find a way to how- why are you locked up in anyway, as I was saying? What we can do is put a spy network here and just boost fascism until it becomes too much for the poor Romanians to handle. Alright, their election is in like four months. I don't know if they're gonna be fascist enough by then. I'm hardly- we're getting like 0.01 a day at most right now, which is quite pathetic, honestly. But hopefully they will be at least somewhat fascist. Fascist enough where they change their government type. I know their democratic government isn't gonna win. Okay, I, I noticed that for some reason Ukraine revoked their guarantee from Poland. So I, I might just have to try to uh, justify on them. No one guarantee them, please. Fucking Christ. Why is Mexico guaranteeing people? Goodness gracious. Me. Bruh, how did the Democratic people win? L look at the party popularity, man. Don't guarantee them on the first hour. <laughs> Fuck you, UK. Fuck off. Can I, can I justify on Poland, maybe? Fuck you, you... I swear to God. You are the biggest fucking bitch. I've ever seen. Can I can I justify on Slovenia? Is is that gonna be an option? <laughs> what the fuck? Mm, I, I think I've had it. No matter who I declare war on, I'm just gonna get shit on. It's been like a year since I've been to war, so I, I, the, the anchor ain't going away. They're clearly imperialist scumbags. Fuck you, Jeremy Corbyn. Have a good night.